In this video, I'll be showing you what a second generation Raspberry Pi looks like as a home theater PC. This is the Raspberry Pi B version 1.2. So if your movie collection consists of 25 gig to 40 gig Blu-ray files, then it will play them. <laughs> wow, bet you wouldn't have thought I would say that, considering what the first Raspberry Pi looked like playing those same files. Well, not only does it play them, it actually plays them really well. You can like jump forward, rewind, and there's no real pausing or lagging at that point. The one real limitation is that it cannot play or cannot pass through DTS HD or Dolby True HD surround sound. It can play the lower quality DTS or Dolby digital surround sound. And this is over the HDMI connector. So let's take more of a look at it. Well, to start with, scrolling through the menus, this is one downside of the old Raspberry Pi that it just could not keep up scrolling through the menus. This time though, no such issues. Uh, okay, I must hit the wrong button there, but... <laughs> so yeah, got the information about it, so that all works pretty well there. Look through the movies as well. Let's see... Oh, back art has taken a moment to appear. But quite often it does appear straight away. It's just the odd few occasions it delays like that. So, excellent, it's all good. One thing that's missing there, can't get the information about movies. I'm pressing I, does nothing. You, oh, no. So let's have a look what it's actually like playing a movie. Now I've got in trouble with trying to play an actual movie on the system before because uh, of getting a copyright strike against my channel. So basically I'm going for an, a free movie here with the Big Buck Bunny. It's not a movie, is it? It's a 10 minute short. that just got to give Creative Commons usage on it. So let's just jump forward a bit. So this is H.264 1080p at 24 frames a second. Now for some reason it is saying it's only doing 10 frames per second, but you look at that butterfly there, it's moving way better than 10 frames a second. Oh poor thing, it's just got crushed by an apple, by the mean bullies up there. So in jumping forward is perfectly responsive, going back is perfectly responsive as well. I mean it can actually play a Blu-ray file, a 30 gig Blu-ray file this can play. But can it play a 60 frames per second H.264 encoded video? Uh, no. <laughs> Unfortunately this has proved to be just a little bit too much. the sound was way off. <laughs> That's well and truly out of sync. And I've actually played the video and it is in sync and it does look very nice and it's got a much higher and you can really see the 60 frames per second in action. And now we've got stuttering. <laughs> I would say that's a fail. What's we got next? We have a standard MP4 compressed version of the file. This is quite large in an AVI container. Once again, we got a 1080p. I believe this was 24 frames a second as well. That's fine. Now let's push the capabilities of the Pi. Can it do HEVC X265 encoded video? Now bearing in mind, now bearing in mind, Kodi has only just gained the ability to play the HEVC codec, and at this point, it's only CPU software decoding, not GPU decoding yet. So let's see what happens. Hmm. Well, well, well. A little bit slower on responsiveness, and 
<laughs> it's lagging big time there. You can see the CPU usage is quite high. Let me turn that overlay off, see if it gets any better. Nah, to be honest it hasn't really. Stuttering straight away. Let's pause it. Resume. No. Let's stop that, that's taking forever. So last one. H264 4K video. Really, must be having a laugh here. Oh well, there you go. It doesn't just crash Cody, it turns off the Pi itself. But asking it to play a 4K video is just completely ridiculous, but hey, I had to try and push it to its limits. If you're after a cheap, pretty good home theatre PC, the Raspberry Pi second generation is perfectly acceptable. If you're a connoisseur of media and you want your DTS HD and Dolby True HD surround sound, then no, it's not good enough, but then you're looking at spending more than 10 times the amount. So hey, take a judgement on what you want, but I am really impressed with the Raspberry Pi and it's way exceeded the capabilities of the first generation Pi. So thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.